Hello shrimp and fish people and welcome back to Cornet and Corner. In today's video I'm going to be talking about leaf litter so don't go anywhere. Welcome back guys. As I mentioned earlier we're going to be talking about leaf litter. Mainly about why they are important, what are the benefits and different types of leaves. So let's start. First question, why are they important for shrimp tanks? Most of the shrimps that we are keeping in our aquariums come from mountain streams uh, where oxygen levels are really high. Also these streams are surrounded by many many trees so you can imagine the amount of leaves that will fall into it. So what can we do to keep our shrimps happy? Mimic their natural environment. So how do we do that? We add leaves. Um, and that brings us to the second question and that is what are the benefits of the leaves? There are basically three benefits that I can think of. First being shelter. Uh, as the leaves fall they will sink to the bottom um, possibly piling up, piling up onto each other um, creating little piles, uh, little pockets where shrimps can crawl into and be safe from other fish and other predators uh, or even uh, when they're molt uh, they can hide from other shrimps because that's when they're the most vulnerable. Second benefit would be food. As leaves start to decay there will be microorganisms feeding on it creating biofilm. Um, this biofilm is what the shrimps are eating in their natural environment and is the very first food baby shrimps will be eating. Uh, now you gotta remember that these microorganisms are already present in a well cycle tank uh, but these leaves will make them more concentrated in, in one area and making make them easier for little shrimps to eat. Uh, this will also increase your baby shrimp survival rate. On the other hand, once these leaves uh, reach a certain level of decay they will become softer and then the shrimps will start eating them as well. So as you can see uh, it's a great source of food and because it takes days or weeks to start decomposing it makes them an excellent vacation food as well. Third benefit would be tannins. Some leaves leach tannins which have antifungal and antibacterial properties. They promote good health, they um, stimulate breeding, reduce stress and uh, help in molting as well. Uh, also um, they can improve coloration. The leaf tannin scale also lower the pH which, which, is, which is especially good for shrimps that uh, love acidic water like the caridina, uh, most caridina shrimps I should say. Okay so now um, let's talk about some different types of leaves. Um, for me I categorize them into two categories and that's hard leaves and soft leaves. Hard leaves are leaves that are usually thicker, harder and they take a long time to decompose. Um, most of these hard leaves have antibacterial and antifungal properties and I, uh, you know the most popular ones are the uh, Indian almond leaf, wawa leaf, I, I hope I pronounced that right, wawa leaf uh, and banana leaves. Um, the soft leaves, that's the second type, are leaves that are decomposing in a matter of a day or a few days and these leaves are mainly used as food. Um, they can be really high in carbo carbohydrates, fiber, vitamins and minerals. Uh, some of these also help the shrimp maintain the exoskeletons uh, and aid in the uh, molting process as well. Um, one of the most popular ones used for this is the mulberry leaf. And if you look at the these shrimps here, the, the leaf, this leaf right here, that's mulberry, this is alder leaf. Those are soft leaves. This leaf here is the hard leaf and that's the uh, almond, uh, Indian almond leaf. So basically these are used, you can see, uh, this is taking longer to de decompose shrimps are on there but they're not so much on there. These these guys are like food right away and I didn't make these too soft so they it'll take a few days for that uh, leaf to start decomposing. 
tomorrow or day after tomorrow they will be th that leaf will be half gone uh, most of these leaves you can uh, buy online um, but if you have you know trees in your in your backyard you can collect those uh, just make sure that they're not contaminated and by contamination I mean pesticides or or uh, car exhausts or something like that right because that will contaminate your leaves you don't want that in your in your shrimp tank so yeah so that's uh, pretty much all I have for you guys I will include a list of all the leaves that I have found that people have used in their shrimp tanks successfully so I'll put that in the description and that's pretty much all I have I'm, I'm kind of reading my notes here I have a few notes uh, so yeah that's pretty much all I have for you guys today so hopefully you learned something from it uh, please don't hesitate to comment if you like the video please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe so stay well and I will see you next time